to improvise sequence generation in North Indian classical music. Uh, I'm Kartavi Gupta from Tuklaiti Hyderabad and my uh, uh, advisory Dr. Ashwin Jain. So in this paper, what we are trying to do is we are basically trying to present two models which will be able to generate improvised sequences in North Indian classical music. We, we propose two methods. One is bigram model and second is LSTM RNN based model. So uh, uh, we evaluate the bigram model in this our data set to achieve a top one accuracy of 46% and a top three accuracy of 83, 83%. We also evaluate LSTM RNN based model on Pandit Ajay Chakrabarti Bhopali Compositions data set. We achieved top one accuracy of 51% and top three accuracy of 81%. So we here we introduce Rag Bhopali, but I will not I will not go into it because the time there's a shortage of time. So we we collect annotations in Bhatkande notation uh, of of a single artist named Pandit Pandit Ajay Chakrabarti. So we have two, 2,968 annotations. So they, this is this is the way annotations are done in Bhatkande notation. Uh, we model prob our improvised sequences as prob probability models, and uh, this is this is the way it's a model. And the, re the result for bigram model is uh, we get forty six percent accuracy on top one benchmark and eighty three percent accuracy on top three benchmark. Uh, and the, the limitation of engram model is that it can uh, it, it cannot fully utilize the musical context. It can only say that the next note is only based on the previous note, but that's not how it is in North Indian classical music. Uh, now, uh, to it, in order to fix this, we introduce another model called uh, long short-term memory a different neural network. And uh, uh, it, so these are the, the way we formulate training sequences for our uh, model. We provide uh, four inputs and one output. So the total length of the sequence is five, four for input, four for input one for output. Uh, we allot 80% of our training data to test and 20, uh, sorry, 80% 80, 80 of the training uh, data set to, to training and 20% uh, to test. Uh, and uh, so now we discuss the model architecture and training parameters for our model. We have two layers, uh, each with uh, 200 cells of L LSTM layers, and uh, we use a categorical cross entropy as loss function and atom optimization algorithm for speed. We train our model for 200 epochs. Uh, the, uh, we achieve a training accuracy of 60%, training loss of 0 0.9663. We achieve top one accuracy of 51.43%, and top three accuracy of 81.21% on test set. This is the plot of model accuracy on training data set. This is the plot of model loss on training data set. The most glaring problem with this approach is that this solution works, but we do not know how. Uh, we do not know why the solution works. Training this this model on training data set produces model weight sets output. The weight output is opaque. Human beings cannot form, understand this output in terms of high level concepts. This present this present solution to the problem is effectively a black box. This reduces trust in the solution. Uh, 